Thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Copeland. I'm Don Schiffman. It was an unimaginable crime that left four young children without parents. Their aunt pursued the only justice possible for them in the courts. And today, four years later, that legal battle finally came to an end. The Utica police officer Joseph Longo stabbed his wife, then himself, to death in the Deerfield home they'd shared back in 2009. Well, this week, the city and Kristen Palumbo Longo's family reached a $2 million settlement in the family's civil suit three weeks before this case was set to go to trial. It is your top story. Jolene Ferris is in the newsroom with the details from court. It seemed almost anticlimactic for this gut-wrenching four-year-old case to come to its end in a proceeding that took only a few moments in federal court in downtown Utica today. The older Longo children joined their aunt and uncle in federal court today as the $2 million settlement in this case was placed on the record, the final official step. It's a financial settlement only and does not include any policy changes in how the Utica Police Department handles domestic violence and mental health issues among its members. And the family feels strongly that if UPD had better handled these issues with Longo, their mother, sister, and daughter would still be here. But Kristen Palumbo Longo's family says they're not giving up on that. We are certainly relieved that we don't have to go to trial. And we're very grateful that Kristen's children have some financial security. We won't have any sense of closure, however, until the city does adopt an adequate officer-involved domestic violence policy. The family will chronicle phase two, as they call it, on Facebook. Phase two is lobbying at the state level for the policy changes they seek. Utica Mayor Robert Palmieri had no comment today beyond the comment he made initially this week when they first settled the case. Jolene Ferris, News Channel 2.